Jack Sprague will not be denied. He swings to the inside of Mike Skinner as they rumble off to turn one. Side by side, two Chevrolets fighting it out for the second spot. Sprague opens the inside lane, gets up alongside Skinner. Now Skinner comes back to the inside. Skinner charging down to the inside of Sprague. He'll get the spot. Now Sprague comes back to his inside. They're two by two off turn two. Halfway down the back stretch, they're chasing the multicolored Ford of Kenny Irwin. Now Sprague has the second spot. Skinner trying to hold off into the third. Chuck down right there with Jay Sauter. I'll tell you what, Kenny Irwin is checked out here. He's got 10 truck links on this tremendous battle for the second spot. Jack Sprague has it coming into the corner. Mike Skinner dives to the inside of the track. He'll pick off the spot, but Sprague's coming back. Back up alongside, this time on the inside lane. Jack Sprague and Mike Skinner side by side, marching off into turn one. Sprague with the advantage. Now Trouble Sauter spins around. Hard into the outside wall. Goes one truck as now Sauter backs his truck into the wall. It's Toby Butler and Jay Sauter getting together, coming into turn number one. Sauter now with driver's side against the outside wall. Toby Butler with a hard hit on the passenger side of his truck. Both trucks now come to rest in turn one. The caution comes out for the 12th time this afternoon on lap number 156 as Jay Sauter and Toby Butler both spin and slam the outside wall. Let's go out back out to turn two. Looks like there was some contact there. They were racing for position coming back into turn one. All of a sudden, Sauter's truck just spun around. So did Butler's. They slammed into the wall. Jay Sauter driver's side up against the outside wall right now. Toby Butler's truck has drifted down the banking after making hard contact. He nailed the wall coming into turn number one with the passenger side of his truck. Safety crews on hand now, tending to both Jay Sauter and Toby Butler. Jay Sauter, another one of the drivers who's had a real up and down day today. Several started way back at the rear of the pack, worked their way up to the front of the field, only to become involved in a situation like this. Sauter, the most recent, as he looks like will be done for the day. Up nearly in the same spot where John Nemechek and about three or four others have had problems today. Yeah, Jay Sauter was down on the inside of the racetrack. Actually, Butler was on his outside, and it, it appears to us that uh, Toby Butler was trying to avoid Sauter and was uh, scooted up to the outside of the racetrack and slammed the outside wall pretty hard. As a matter of fact, both drivers had some pretty hard contact. It all started when they got down perhaps a little bit too low on the inside of the racetrack and made contact with the yellow berm that lines the inside of the track and separates the asphalt from the grass. Let's check back out on turn two. Well, the window net is down on Toby Butler's truck. Now safety crews working on Jay Sauter. His truck is still up against the outside wall. Right now safety dry now being applied down as safety crews working to Jay Sauter's black Chevrolet here in turn one. Sauter was running in the top five. Toby Butler was in the top ten at the time the crash occurred. And the field now bunched behind the safety truck, rolling around the track as uh, one of the trucks being moved away. That looks like the Toby Butler truck being uh, pulled out of position. They're still working uh, at Jay Sauter's truck in turn one. Yeah, the good news is Toby Butler did climb from his truck under his own power. He'll take a mandatory ride into the infield care center. However, they are working on Jay Sauter, who took the hardest hit on the outside of the racetrack as his Chevrolet slammed into the wall. A lot of activity down in the first corner now, as again we reported just a moment ago that Toby Butler did climb from his machine. Jay Sauter is is yet to, and there's quite a bit of activity around his uh, Chevrolet truck. Let's check in with Mike Bagley. Well, the good news again, Toby Butler was able to climb from his uh, Chevrolet. What the crews are doing now is they're cutting the top off of Jay Sauter's Chevrolet. Right now, the crews are standing on the bed with machinery trying to get Jay out of the truck. Right now, they're working on him, tending to his needs, but again, they're standing on top of the truck, the, the top of the truck being cut away here in turn one. Almost an identical situation to what happened to John Nemechek several laps ago. NASCAR official report. Uh, no word right now on the condition of John Nemechek. He was taken to Jackson Memorial Hospital locally for evaluation. We'll keep you posted as we hear on his condition and that of Jay Sauter. Let's uh, look back at the beginning of this uh, NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series season. Uh, only three races old. We've seen some exciting races from the very beginning. Joe Rutman won the season opening race at Orlando this year back in January. Ron Hornaday got the win at Tucson several weeks ago. Rich Bickle is the man who leads the point standings coming into this this race, but only by five points over Butch Miller. Now, Bickle, again, is not on the lead lap now and stands to lose that lead at uh, the conclusion of the race today. Jay Sauter is another five back in third. Jimmy Hensley and Kenny Irwin completing the top five. Only 68 points separates the top five. Still under the red flag because of a crash in turn one. Let's check on the progress there with Mike Bagley. Safety crew still working on the Mike Bl- or actually the Jay Sauter truck now here at turn number one. They're still standing on the bed of the machine. They have cut away the roof of Jay Sauter's truck. Now they are bent over, tending to Jay right now, and uh, everything is still on hold here in turn number one. 
at the Homestead Motorsports Complex this afternoon under the red flag for the second time today, this time when Jay Sauter hit the wall over in turn two. His truck now being dragged back into the garage area, and Mike Bagley, we understand they did uh, remove him from the truck there. He was raised from the truck, placed on a stretcher clad in a cervical collar. He was gingerly put into the back of the lime green ambulance, which right now has made its way down the back straightaway, going through turn four to take him to the infield care center. And we will get a report on his condition as well as the condition of John Nemechek, who crashed there several laps ago as soon as it becomes available to us.